how to find bugs faster. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find bugs faster, such as default credentials. You may have seen on Twitter the news about the Confluence default credentials that were hard-coded into their app that were recently found. Um, I'm gonna show you how I use some command line tools to find similar bugs, and we're gonna have a little follow along so that you can find those bugs yourselves much quicker. After a little discussion with some people offline, I discovered that a lot of people were not using command line tools correctly, or they're overcomplicating finding bugs like this. Default credentials and hard-coded passwords are 10 a penny, and you can find them everywhere. It's just a case of how you find them and how you look for them. So I'm gonna start a series of videos where I'm gonna teach you how to use some command line tools to do pen testing and bug bounty hunting. So here's the scenario. You have just downloaded a jar file from either a bug bounty, a CTF or a client. So how do you start looking for things in jar files? Well, a jar file is essentially a Java archive. It's a compressed file based on the zip compression system. So we could decompress everything and then start to trawl through everything. But depending on the jar file that you've got, that may be a significant amount of data. So there is actually a quicker way of looking into jar files without decompressing everything. And you can find these types of hard coded credentials really quickly. So to play along with this, I'm going to put a link here and in the description for the jar file that is affected by this CVE so that everyone can play along and we can try and work this out together. Here is the confluence questions.jar file that the CVE was found in. Hard-coded credentials are incredibly easy to find as long as you know what the keywords are that you're searching for. Over the years I have created a list of great keywords that you can start searching for these types of things but in this case we are just going to be searching for very simple things so how do we find things within a file well we use grep but in this case it is um, zip grep because this file is compressed we need to run a form of grep that is able to work on compressed files so zip grep then the word password, you know, that super secret, really hard to understand thing that shouldn't be hard coded anywhere. And then the file. So this is going to search through that jar file. It is going to do some in-memory decompression. That's how it works. But you're going to go through and we're going to find a bunch of matches where it finds the word password. Here's some junk that we don't really need to worry about. And what we're going to do now is find hopefully in the next second or so there it is so that is the default credential um, that was found in that cve it's just here but that doesn't really give us a lot of context around it you may not understand what that is so what we can do is we can actually ask zip grep as so we can with grep um, to show us any matches before um, that match on a password. So if it finds a line with password in it, show us the two previous lines before. We could do it for after as well using capital A. Um, but in this case, we're just gonna go for two lines before. So it's gonna bring back the same results plus the additional two lines before that, um, that match. So we're gonna see the same stuff again as it goes through, matches all of these things. And so there's the load of junk again. I mean, it's not junk, it's JavaScript, but it's not what we need right now. So there we go. Now we have found the default credentials for that CVE and it has taken maybe a minute. So that's how powerful command line tools can be. You can find default credentials such as the one in that CVE by just searching for them. People need to understand that the command line is incredibly powerful. You don't need to overcomplicate these things. This should have been picked up really, really quickly by many, many people. The fact that it stayed hidden for so long is the fact that a lot of people are actually just not looking for these things. So do go out, try out ZipGrip on a bunch of things and see what you can find.